Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room and today I'm going to share with you a fabric haul and also a project that I've been working on. This past Friday, uh, my friend Pam, I don't know if you've seen any of the Facebook Lives that I've done with Sewing and Vacuum Authority, but Pam and I do those Facebook Lives together. And she planned a trip to go to a couple fabric stores here in Kentucky. And she invited me along and I invited my mother and a couple of her friends went along. So shout out to Pam for planning the trip and to my mom for tagging along and for my two new friends, Kathleen and Liz, we had a wonderful time. We supported the local economy and I've got some stuff to share with you that I purchased. The first place we went is called Whittle's Fabric and I believe it is in Smith's Grove, Kentucky. And if it's not, I'll correct that down in the description below. I will include a link to their Facebook page and if they have a website, I will include a link to that as well. And they have very um, economically priced fabric and the selection is overwhelming it's it's big and let's go see a little bit of it here Go over what I got there. I got three patterns. This one is Big Ten, and they actually had this pattern on display with the next fabrics that I'm going to show you that I purchased. I don't have all 10, 10 or 12, I think it says, yeah, 10 fabrics, half a yard each, but I think I can pull from my stash. So this is the first fabric. And these are just really my colors. Purple, pink, turquoise. This is the butterflies again in a different color wave. This is my favorite, I think, of all this line. And it's the, it's almost an indigo with purple and pink dots. And they're splotched, so they're a little bit, um, grungy and I, I love paint splatter and grunge so what can you say and I think yeah this is a different color wave of the first fabric that I showed you and I believe this is the last fabric that I got in that particular line the next pattern I got is this flag and it's American Dream. Oh, freedom lies in being bold, Robert Frost. That's awesome. And you, it gives you the um, different sizes. So you can do crib, twin, picnic. And I think I'm going to be doing a crib because a crib is 48 by 60, which is plenty big enough for me. The twin is 72 by 96. It's bigger than my Barbie quilt. So you can use any red and white fabric and it looks like there are just strips of those red and white and it can be a print on the white print on the red it doesn't have to all be the same and then in the corner where the blue and the stars are on our flag you can use just any patch 
square patch of blue so it can have different prints on it and I just I just thought that was really pretty something else to put on my list of things to do the last pattern I got is called yellow brick road and this is fat quarter friendly and I really 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 like this pattern and the reason I know that I really 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 like this pattern is because I already had this pattern have I made them yet no but I will another thing to add to my list of things to do my brain always thinks in three yard quilt terms so of course I had to get three yards of coordinating fabric for some more three yard quilts and Kathleen is going to do a three yard quilt with me as a matter of fact I'm going to give you something to look forward to we are going to do the Rick Rack quilt and it is out of book quick as a wink so look forward to that coming up that's going to be the next three yard quilt so for that three yard quilt I picked out these three coordinating fabrics. I'll hold them up so hopefully you can see them. And this is going to be probably fabric one. This is going to be fabric two. I lied to you. This is going to be fabric two this is going to be fabric three I found one of my favorite patterns in fabric and that is from Moda and it's confetti metallic and it's ombre here's a cranberry navy at the bottom again thinking in three yard quilt thought uh, my next three fabrics will also be used for a three yard quilt. This is fabric one, which has paisleys and the background is gray. It may look brown on camera, but it really is gray. So I found this Marcus Fabrics color bomb and it's a gray, but it's got the grungy polka dots. And then this is fabric three. And this is, it's almost a mauve, but it's a distressed mauve. It's really unusual. It has squares, but then it's got little pops of color. So if you can see, there's a purple and a pink and kind of a red I thought that was so cool and then I saw this fabric and this goes beautifully with it and I also bought enough to make the background out of this fabric it's just so pretty I did not find another fabric to go with these three but I have these here and I think one of them will work and you can tell me which one so this is fabric one fabric two fabric three fabric four I'm curious as to hear which one you all think goes best. This Paisley, it's a 108 inch fabric and it's got the Paisleys and it's in my favorite color. So I think this would be perfect for the back of a red, white, and blue quilt, a Christmas quilt, just the options for this are endless. It's a patriotic pattern and it's red, white, and blue. But it's even got pink, 
and white. I mean, it's, it's just really cool. And one of my friends pointed out, it looks wood grain, kinda. That's probably what drew me to it. So that is my haul from Whittles Fabric. Moving on to, and I love this name, Psycho Grannies. Quilt Shop and More. And the more is, we, we nicknamed him Psycho Pop. He is Psycho Granny's husband and he paints. Let me give you a preview of the quilt shop, but I didn't include any quilts. Here. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's that. cool. And then there's a young Paul down there. And here's Bruce Springsteen and that's Mick and Keith. Okay, and I wondered who that was. Uh, hi. Yeah. And Alice. Now who's Eric. this one? Snoop Dogg. Oh, okay. Well, actually, no. This was his Snoop Lion period. Uh -huh, when, yeah, he, so when he went to Jamaica, became a Rasta. Okay. Oh, okay. That's why he's kind of there. Chris Christopherson. Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah. yeah. I like that one a lot. Peter Gabriel. Another stone, Ronnie Wood. Okay. Eric Clapton. Joey Ramone. Washington and Bill. A dollar yeah. bill. Yeah, yeah, we got That's a dollar bill. Uh -huh. That's there's no photos. All right. That's what That's I use. That's cool. Dollar. My hero, Frank Zappa. You guys have a pattern. Yes. She does. I taught her. She got better. I quit. <laughs> yeah, right. Kurt that? Cobain. Tom Petty. Oh. Robert Planet. Plant. <laughs> Keith Moon. Keith Moon. Pete Townsend. I didn't do Keith Moon yet. Okay. Thank you. What's that? Oh, that's the uh, thing that. Oh, the records in for the records. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is. That one. <laughs> Uh, was it 33 uh, so Psycho Grannies, I got kind of caught up in the art as opposed to the fabric as far as filming, but I did find some really fun fabric there. Again, three yard quilt mindset. So here is fabric for a three yard quilt and this is fabric one. Something about lines that I like and not straight lines. I don't know. This will be fabric two, more than likely. And I don't know if you can see the little bitty leaves in the fabric. And fabric three. And it's got a design in it. She had a lot of very colorful fabric. I will leave a link to Psycho Granny's Quilt Shop and more in the description, including the Facebook page. She also has an email address. I have to contact her because the last thing I'm showing you, I have to get more of. So here is a very colorful watercolor looking print kind of to go in my rainbow fabric collection. This could either be considered water droplets or paisley, but I just thought this was so pretty. Another thing to add to my rainbow collection. These polka dots were so much fun that I could not pass them by. I also got a jelly roll with colors that are bright and fun. And these are paint splatter colors in a jelly roll called speckles. And last but not least, the panel that I found. My husband has already laid claim to this panel. My, da my oldest daughter, who happened to be over here, has laid claim to this panel. And I know that my youngest daughter will also want this panel. 
Why I didn't just get three while I was there, I don't know. But I will be emailing you Psycho Granny because I do want two more of these panels. This is Fiona Stokes Gilbert, used under license by David Textiles. And here you go. Giant peace sign. You know, you can't go wrong with a giant peace sign. Can't we all just be friends? Okay, that is it for my fabric haul. So this is my cat panel that I have been quilting and it's hard to see the quilting on the front. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over and kind of show you what I did in the borders around the panels was I did a swirl. I don't know if you can see the swirl or not. So around the panel, I've done a swirl. And then in the corner is kind of a paisley. And this paisley is coming from this edge of the corner. More swirl. And then I did this, whatever you call it, around the outside of the panel. You can hear Grace whining. And I decided at some point, I did it at the top too, that I needed to fill that in. So here I put some leaves. Here I put some pebbles. Here I did a meander. I also did it over here, but you can't really see the stitching very well. Now here, I did a feather. So along, this would be my spine and I did a feather. I did some more pebbles. And I just tried to incorporate some of the designs that I learned when I was doing the challenge with Angela Walters. Here again, you can barely see it, but these are not ribbon candy, wishbones. Oh, 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 and here's ribbon candy. So here I filled in with ribbon candy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed visiting a couple quilt shops here in Kentucky. Thank you again, Pam, for inviting me. And uh, I made new friends. There's nothing better than making new friends who like to quilt. Have a great day. Eat some chocolate and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. So while I was waiting for my furnace to quit furnacing, I put together this cart. I believe they have a Facebook page. I'll include their Facebook, a link. Erg. And now we wait for my furnace to go. I just put an opening where the wall was. Now I need a door. Maybe a curtain. I can hang a curtain up there. Kind of block out that noise. So, of course, I had to get some quilt, three yard quilt with.